Are we alone in the universe? One professor from Harvard says we're not. And his evidence are these metallic spheres that he says came from another part of the universe, ended up here on the planet Earth. And what's interesting about them is that they are metallic spheres, might be titanium and other objects that are very difficult to make, meaning they are not natural. They don't form themselves naturally in the universe. And we're going to go through this from Professor Avi Loeb, who is explaining how this worked, actually obtained the sample and is doing the analysis on them. But this reminded me of another clip from Elon. And Elon was on with Joe Rogan and he was explaining something to this effect. He said, people ask me all the time about aliens. When we think about them coming to Earth, the question we often see in sci-fi movies and in our brains are these big spaceships and advanced technology and ray lasers and teleportation and all of the other fancy stuff. But we don't necessarily need to see warp drives in order to recognize that there is advanced life out there. Maybe all we need is just some advanced metallurgy. If they just were able to create a titanium cube, we would know that, oh my gosh, you know, creating titanium is like a real serious feat. And so if they could get it and form it into a cube structure, we know it's not natural. That's gotta be evidence of life. Well, now we've got these spheres that are popping up. Question is, is there something here? This was Elon on with Joe Rogan. Do you think that they would want us to know? Or do you think they would just be observing and making sure we don't blow ourselves up? I don't if know, man. They're real civilization. They sure are subtle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they yeah. wanted us to know, obviously they they could just for sure you know show up and walk yeah. down Main Street, you know, like, right. hey, I'm an alien, check me out, you know. Right. Uh, he has my spaceship and just land in the middle of Times Square. I'd be like, right, okay, or hover over downtown LA. Yeah, yeah. We were like, okay, we believe you. Yeah. Um So w whatever they are, they are, <laughs> they are very subtle, very subtle. These aliens. How <laughs> often do you think about it? Nine, zero. <laughs> zero. Even though you're thinking about interplanetary travel, you don't really think about aliens. No, I mean, if they show up, I'm like, great, okay, now. This is new information, but we. <laughs> <laughs> well, what an interesting I'm, way of putting it. This is new information. This is new information. Like, where are you yeah. guys up till now? Yeah. If I see some evidence for aliens, I'll, I'll be like, I'll be the first to be like, ah, aliens, you know? Right. Then um, you'll investigate. But until then, you think it's kind of a waste of time? Yeah. Yeah. It definitely seems like a waste of time if nothing's happened so far. You think about all the people that have been researching aliens for their whole life, and they have yeah. very little to show for it. Well, y you know, there's... Other than cool stories. Yeah. Um, I mean, we have archaeologists going all over the world looking at things, you know, with this, this uh, people like if we were to find something like, let's say, like a cube of titanium, just like a one inch cube of titanium see in the middle of the pyramid. I'd be like aliens for sure. There's no way they could have made a titanium back then. Mm. Not, there's no way. They, that's hard. That's all. One little, didn't even need a computer. Like a computer would be like, hey, wow, computers, they didn't have computers back then. So it must be aliens. But but even just like some advanced metallurgy, anything like we can say anything like that. Right. And now we have a professor who says he's got something kind of like that going on. Now, these were not found in the pyramids, but they did arrive on planet Earth. This guy is named Avi Loeb, and he comes from Harvard. Thinks he's got fragments of alien technology that he's uncovered. He says he may have found this stuff from a meteor that landed in the waters off of Papua New Guinea, 2014. He and his team brought the materials back to Harvard for analysis. Space command can confirm with almost near certainty 99.99% that it came from another solar system. The government gave Loeb a 6.2 mile radius of where it may have landed. They said that's where the fireball took place. The government detected it from the Department of Defense. Very big area about the size of Boston. We wanted to pin it down, said the professor. We figured the distance of the fireball based off the time delay and the arrival of the blaze blast wave and the boom of the explosion and the light that arrived. Their calculations allowed them to chart a potential path of the meteor. Those calculations happened to carve a path right through the range. Loeb and his crew took a boat out there. The ship took numerous passes along the path, combed the ocean floor with a sled of magnets attached to their boat, scraping the floor with magnets. It says, we found 10 spherules. They're almost perfect spheres or metallic marbles. When you look at them through a microscope, they look very distinct from the background. They have colors of gold, blue, brown. Some of them resemble a miniature of Earth. Their composition and analysis show that the spherules are made of 84% iron, 8% silicone, 4% magnesium, 2% titanium, and trace elements. They are sub-millimeter in size. The crew found 50 of them in total. Here's what they look like. You can see they look 
different, different colors, different textures. This one looks almost smooth. This one looks much more rough, different colors on this one. It has material strength that is tougher than all space rock that were seen before and cataloged by NASA. We calculated its speed outside the solar system. It was 60 kilometers per second, faster than 95% of all stars. The fact that it was made of materials tougher than even iron meteorites and moving faster than 95% of all stars in the vicinity suggested it could potentially be a spacecraft from another civilization or some technological gadget. Is it a bullet? Is it something that they shot our direction? Or are these just BBs from somebody's BB gun? He says it could be like a situation of a Voyager spacecraft. We launched spacecraft out. Maybe they did. They'll exit our solar system in 10,000 years. Just imagine them colliding with another planet. What if our Voyager hits another planet a billion years from now? The research and analysis is just beginning. Loeb is still trying to understand if the spherical's are artificial or natural. If they're natural, it's going to give researchers insight into what materials may exist outside our solar system. If it's artificial, then the questions really begin. It says it's going to take us tens of thousands of years to exit our solar system with our current spacecraft. The material spent that time, this material spent that time arriving to us, but it's already here. We just need to check our backyards to see if we have packages from an interstellar Amazon that takes billions of years for the travel. More research to come, hours of unwatched footage from the cameras, he believes there's a chance that the spherules could be small breadcrumbs to a bigger find. We hope to find a big piece of this object that survived the impact so that we can tell if it's a rock or a technological gadget. Ooh weird. Wonder what it could be. Could they be man-made? 50 of them in total. And there's that titanium that Elon was talking about. Curious things happening out there. Professor from Harvard. We'll see if the aliens show up. 